I think in the last 10 years, since the sanctuary refuge system came into play, ducks have gotten smarter because all the ones going into the sanctuaries, they're safe. Everybody else, we're getting the ducks that are not on the sanctuaries and that are basically trying to survive. They've had the opportunity from Canada all the way down to Louisiana coast to look at every kind of decoy spread known to man. When I was a young boy, we'd go out, we'd have 12, 15 mile of decoys, and it doesn't matter if they were new, old, or dull. You hit the duck call a little bit, and ducks come right on in there. But these days, it just seems like the ducks are way smarter, and I think it's because everybody's hunting a certain amount of areas that are not sanctuaries, and so they're just wising up. The decoys is a visual thing that helps complement your calling because they hear them and they say, oh, I hear, I hear some of our buddies down there. I think each species that you're after must be accounted for. The reason people don't kill more gadwalls or gray ducks is because they throw out mallard decoys and call with mallard calls. If we're hunting in an area where we're seeing mallards, gadwall, widgeon, and teal, we've got, we have mallard, gadwall, widgeon, and teal decoys. We like to add everything into the mix because there's safety in numbers. You want more wood ducks? Get you some wood duck decoys. Put them out there. Just by doing that, you'll look up and you'll light beside them. Just having the call is not good enough. You gotta have the decoys with it because I think it would be troubling if you're blowing a gadwall call and there's no gadwall decoys, that's not a good idea. You need the decoys and the call. You want all your decoys to talk. You have lead callers on each side and your middle guys are doing everybody else, the gadwalls, the teal, the mallard drakes. If I hear everybody talking, it's just more real. Generally, the rule is if you're hunting big open water or fields, you have big spreads, because they tend to raft up out there. Still, it's nice to have some moving there. Plus, another reason why that works is the ducks that are prone to open water, they tend not to be real bright. So that's why you can get away with a lot more as far as big spreads. When you get inside the timber, we generally have smaller spreads. Now, it's not based on really anything other than you just don't drive down through the flooded timber and see big rafts of ducks. It's generally, you just see scattered out ducks. And so we're trying to make that same realism come to life. The key factor on that is you always place your decoys according to which way the wind's blowing. Well, if the wind's coming from left to right, they're going to light over here. And ain't nobody going to be shooting but Jace. Mm -hmm. So you want the hole up here, you want the buck upwind and they come right in front of you like. That, that does a couple of things for you. It slows them down, okay, when they're against the wind and they're easier to hit. Ducks tend to light outside of your decoys, except for teal. Now they'll light right in them. So what I like to do is I don't put any decoys right in front of me. And you say, well, why? because ducks tend to light where there are no decoys, right this side of them. So I look at the wind, I put the bulk of them upwind. When they come into the wind and they have a nice safe place to light right on the other side of the decoys, well it just happens to be right in front of me. Get your little movement going out there on these decoys, some kind of movement. They've got to be moving. Because if they're just sitting there, if you put out like 200 decoys that are just sitting there, especially on the days that there's no wind. If they just sitting there, nope. Ducks done got too smart for that. If, if I had my druthers, I would say give me fewer decoys, but all of them doing something, than a whole lot of decoys, and they're just sitting there. Real ducks swim around, make waves, you know, they chasing each other, making ripples. Wake makers, jumpers, shakers, swimmers. It just adds realism to you spread. I mean, everybody, you know, they're not just sitting there. You see them ducks out there on the pond, they're not sitting there, they're moving. Everybody's gotta be moving. 